Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound tip of the day. This is a tip that covers a lot of areas. One, uh, it's a brand new pedal that I'm using. Two, it's a rehearsal space recording. And also, I guess you could say it's a promotion for my band, Silver Seed. So, but most of all, it's just a tip and maybe just to show you guys one idea for a vocal chain that you could use in your rehearsal space for a recording technique for vocals. So I'm going to show you kind of the beginning to the end of this and then I'll give you a little sample of what I've been doing. So the vocal chain starts out with a Neumann <clears throat> U87. Um, obviously it's a fairly expensive microphone and uh, sort of the one of the gold standard microphones in the recording business. You don't need to get a microphone this expensive. Um, there are lots of great condensers out there for a lot less money. Um, but one of the things that I do use that everybody probably should use is a pop filter on this. Um, I just use this Stedman because it was just stuck in a bag and I figured I'd try it out. It works fairly well to eliminate plosive sounds on your uh, vocal recording. So then it goes into this color pedal by J JHS and typically I wouldn't use a pedal on a vocal chain but this uh, the idea around this is that it simulates parts of a Neve console um, you know uh, strip so it's got uh, master pre-volume step which is just basically a more volume more gain treble middle bass and then it's got the where you put the the um, frequency high pass filter um, I just left this on low it sounded pretty pretty tinny when I put it up on high so and it gives I don't know what the quality is exactly except to say maybe it's got the feeling of like a tape compressor which is probably not but it's it's got this kind of um, contained feeling in the vocal when you're listening when you're singing um, and uh in, in the headphones so it's 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 a nice uh feature i i didn't know if i'd like it uh but i tried it and i'm probably going to use it for all my vocals it just it gives a color that i like so sometimes you find pedals that you know color it in the wrong way and that one just happens to do the right thing so then i go into this um on the top there the apollo uh element 88 and that also, that preamp also has a color to it, but um, it's fairly transparent. Um, so you're getting two colors on your preamp section. Um, and then I'm going into Logic, and I'm just using this Apollo strip here. And so this is the preamp. There's no, there are no knobs on the. Um, on the rack unit, it's all the the you know the gains and anything that you would do to affect the signal is all um, in digital form on your on your computer, and then of course it just goes into the strip here or it goes into Logic. Um, these are the vocals that I've been tracking here today. Goes back to what I've been doing in the recent past which is double everything so i doubled all my vocals and it's not necessarily going to be what i use um it, you know in the final product but um it gives my mixing engineer a lot to work with and who knows we might just end up using doubles for everything so this is the um verse and chorus of a song called shoe in a uh, very raw raw unmixed uh take here so here we go you see me
that's what I've been working on, and uh, hopefully that helps if you're trying to do a rehearsal space recording. Um, you know, some of these pieces are fairly pricey, um, especially the U87. Um, of course, you don't need it, but uh, it does sound good. The color pedal, I think, is 400 bucks. We do sell them here at uh, GoGo -Go Guitars. Um, and the Apollo actually is fairly uh, reasonable for eight channels of preamp. I think it's like $1,000. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I couldn't say, and I'm not sponsored by any of these people, but I'm just trying to share with you what I um, have experienced. And it's... Um, an exceptional piece of equipment uh, for the money for sure so yeah hope that helps rock on <laughs>